y'all. It's Michael. Mm. Happy New Year's. Don't be confused by the holiday. Um, our tree's still up because, listen, this was expensive. It's a real tree. It makes the house smell good. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it as long as I can. I am off today. Yay! Uh, change of plans. Uh, I was going to go and, you know, like go to the coffee shop, feel the vibes. It's like very cold, dreary. It's the perfect. Going to the coffee shop, reading a book, weather. Uh, but instead, I'm home because I'm babysitting. Um, so if you hear some screaming in the background, that's what that is. Uh, so I made my own coffee, which, okay, I guess I'm saving my- Okay, I guess. I guess. I guess. I don't know where they got this Hello Kitty mug from, but this coffee's delicious. I mean, it's really good. It's also really strong. The one thing I do want to do is be more consistent with my uploading. And so it's going to be a little bit different vibes as I get into the- Back into the groove. Because, y'all, I'm not going to lie. Y'all know Vlogmas. Mmm. Y'all, it's rough, but I mean, I, hey, 24 videos, I mean, come on now, I, I, I feel like I did it. Okay, so, I thought I would catch y'all up on, first off, um, you know what, I think I'm thinking now, I think this might be my reading ramble video, where I talk to y'all about the books and whatnot that I'm currently reading, because I really, god, y'all, I really want to talk about these books. Uh, so first off, I did finish a book, now, I finished it on the 31st of, um, December, but I am going to count it, um, for, uh, this year because uh, I mean come on now because I'm thinking of like how I'm wanting to structure these videos is I'm thinking that these type of videos these reading ramble videos I'll it's like an update I'm hoping to um put them out maybe around I haven't decided yet Sunday or Mondays but I feel like Sunday would be good because you know like Sunday Sunday's giving that vibe that reading vibe okay it will be like update videos and then on that last Sunday or depending on how the month looks will be my actual wrap up where I actually give you guys more concise thoughts and whatnot of the books that I'm reading but we're using Storygraph this year and I'm both in <laughs> good reads um but if it y'all know me I I think the best book related app on the app store i think it's bookly i think that's that's personally my favorite i love this app not sponsored i wish um and you can pay there's a free and then you can pay like for a free version it's the app that i use all the time for reading because instead of tracking because i always put on there like how many books i want to read a um a year so 52 essentially is what i want to read which is basically a book a month a book a week excuse me so that's 52 weeks but actually I put that as like more of a like a nomenclature like I just put it there just to put it there but my goal is really to read 16,000 pages because I calculated that and I'm thinking that's 300 pages per um per book essentially and so that's essentially what it is um and then that to me I'm thinking that's like roughly about 50 pages every day around there um but in long story short my goal every single year I have been doing this booktube channel for a really long time is just to read one hour every day and there are days when it is so easy to accomplish like today I'm almost there and the past few days has been easy to accomplish because I've been y'all I've been on a roll wait till you see hear about these books all right I'm back um yeah I was just telling my mom because uh she's buying a new fridge and I was like don't buy Samsung <laughs> y'all take if you this is unrelated but don't ever buy Samsung <laughs> Don't buy Samsung appliances, y'all. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. They look so pretty. Oh my god, that bespoke range, so pretty. But it's not worth it. It's not worth the hassle. Don't do not get a Samsung appliance. Anyways, we're here talking about books. All right. Um, the first book that I finished, and I'm counting it for 2024, was um My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Moshfet. This is my first Otessa Moshfet. I decided to I decided to read this because y'all. In the previous uh, video that you saw for vlog, this look what I got! It's a Kindle Scribe. Oh my God, it's great. It's upside down. Oh, but uh, I love it so 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 much. Uh, I kind of want to spend more time about it with it before like I give my concrete thoughts. But overall, as an e-reader, if anything, as an e-reader, it's great. Like, I wanted this huge. I want a basically a big ass screen so I can like. I can reread. Um, and it's been great because it's been making me, it's been 
making me want to read, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, I picked this book out um, because it was on my um, my library's digital thing where it's great. Oh, y'all, oh, I love my library. I love my library so much because now these books are gonna come on here. Yes, and I, I'm spending zero dollars, except for my taxes, but zero dollars, yay! Which is great. So yeah, I'm read I finished that on the 31st and I was like, oh, going into the new year, yes. Yes, going into the new year. When you get a new Kindle, it also has a, um, it's waking up. Hold on, don't, don't look at my password. Also gives you like a, uh, a trial to, um, Kindle Unlimited. So obviously I signed up for it. Uh, I'm going to try it out and see what's going on. We'll see how it feels so, about it. I most, I'm not going to lie. Most, I'm probably not going to keep the subscription because I feel as though like, this year, one thing I want to um, really look at is like my subscriptions that I am subscribed to. I am one of those people where I feel as though if I don't use it enough to merit the subscription, then I'll just, it's a chop. I'm not gonna lie, my book has, my library has enough books for, I'll, I'll never be able to go through that, um, that catalog. So I, I would probably just stick with my library. So, and if I really want it, then I'll just buy it. But yeah, I probably won't, sign up I won't I probably won't stick around for the um for the whole thing but you know, three months we'll see how it goes uh so yeah I I checked that out and then um the first book that I am currently also reading right now um because it was on Kindle Unlimited was How High We Go in the Dark by Sukoya Nagamatsu um I'm not gonna lie I think this is half half for me. I'm only half. It says right here, I'm 68% of the way through, and I'm not gonna lie, I am done. I am ready for it to be over. Uh, I think I'm, and mentally, I'm over it. Um, I think I'm. It's it's a little bit. Mm. It, the, mm. Again, I'll talk more about it on my wrap up. It's basically about a virus who gets who get that gets discovered in uh, um in the ice, and because of uh uh. Because of the war planet, um, it basically spreads and this traces the discovery and like light years away, like years away of what happens when a, uh, like a pandemic happens. Um, yeah, I'll talk more about it in the wrap up. But overall right now, y'all, I think I'm just ready for it to be over because it's, it's, it's not giving what it's supposed to be give. And I say that because the other books that I'm reading... One of them, I think, going into this year is going to be amazing. So yeah, I have a whole bunch of other things saved on here just to um to be able to uh let me let me turn this down so it can it can match my exposure. Um, but I have a whole bunch of other books right here that I was like, oh, I'm gonna decide to get on my Kindle because um I'm almost done with that and I've been doing so well, y'all, on reading. I am super hyped. I'm super excited. I have a habit tracker right here that I'm doing. Yay! Uh, I'm gonna see and try this out. I'm super excited. I don't have my pen with me, but yeah, that's I love this thing. I I mean, it's like one of the best um things I've ever bought. Full disclosure, though, I did buy this at my work, so there's that. I just wanna let be transparent with it, okay? Be transparent, uh, but yes, I'm. I love it so much. I'm super excited. I'm gonna download more um, Kindle Unlimited books, and we'll see how that goes. Um, physic. Now let's talk about the physical books. Yay! The one that I'm going to start actually today because I just want to have something just to because I got this from the library, um, which is the House of Stone by um, Novella Rosa Suma. Uh, I think it's about Zimbabwe. Yes. Yes, it takes place in Zimbabwe. Um, we'll see how it goes. And it passes my 300 page mark. So yeah, I'm super excited for it. Um, I don't know. It, it, it should be good. So yeah, I don't have anything to say because I'm when I tell you I'm about to start, like look, the bookmark, <laughs> I'm about to start. The reason why I have this book also is because I want to bring this, this is going to be like the book that I bring around because the other book that I'm going to bring around, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little embarrassed to... Um, <laughs> to be carrying it around um not because you know i feel some type of way but just i mean like come on now look, look at this like i mean I don't, I don't even know what the sensors are on youtube for this but yes so i want to talk to y'all about this this is the rainbow by dh lawrence and oh my gosh I'm only on page like 100. I'm, I'm on page like 90. So I'm about to approach the 100 page mark. And I can already tell you, if this is the rate that it's going into, amazing, incredible. This is my first D.H. Lawrence novel. I never actually read anything from him. And now I can see why this was banned because 
this is great. But I can definitely see why people at the times would ban this because it is very provocative. Um, this is a so far now. I'm not that deep into it. it looks like it's gonna be a like multi generational novel because there's actually a part two of this and i'm not gonna lie i kind of want the sec i, I want to buy it um because like i want to get the matching cover that i saw like it has a picture here in the back because this is this is old okay um and i was like ooh, it would match perfectly because i think this is a book i i want to keep in my collection and so this is actually one of the books that if you saw that video of the books that i want to read in 2024 from my um personal library and this is one of them and if this is if this is the quality that I am going to be reading throughout the year, I am super excited about it. This is a story of um, the Bronxwin family. Bronxwin? I'm, I'm thinking I'm pronouncing that right. Thinking the W might be like a different sound, like Bronxwin. Like this takes place in Nottinghamshire. See, I I pronounce <laughs> the reason why I'm really enjoying this is because it is written beautifully. Is it per superfluous with the writing? Yes, it's over the top, but one thing that this book is really, really good at conveying is this yearning. And I think this is actually would, I'm not sure, but this would be classified probably as a romance novel because the yearning and like the, the love between this following one person right now. So I'm thinking the perspective might change because they have kids essentially. Um, I, I, I don't know if that's a spoiler or not, but um, we're following Tom. There's this, there's this, there's just this tension that I am loving between the, the characters and it's written in a way where it's just, to me, like I'm singing the images in my mind and it's giving me the Gilded Age. It's giving me Downton Abbey. It's giving me this, this, this sense of like love that's like, oh, like I love you so much, but I also, <laughs> like it's just that type of love. Woo! Oh my God, I am, y'all. I'm loving it. I cannot wait to finish this because I want to see how it unfolds. Um, it is chunky though. I'm not going to lie, but I can, ah, oh, it's good, man. If, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. So yay. Those are, that's what's going on right now in my reading life. I really feel like, I don't know. I don't want to jinx myself, but just the way the, my reading is starting off this year, I feel like it's going to be one of my better reading years because you know i kind of fall off i cut I, I fell off I, i'm not gonna lie but i feel like i'm back in the groove so yes um if you read any of those books let me know um until then i'll see you guys till next week bye